In this video, we are going to add more features from where we left off. So we want to insert more cells and more columns into our table. <clears throat> so if I want to insert a row before wine, that is between garlic and wine, it means I'll click on the wine tab and I'll come to insert rows. Now you really recognize that in Excel, always the row is inserted above. So if I want to insert a row after wine, that means I have to click in break. Then I can insert a row. But when you click there, as you see, it inserts only one row at a time. But what if I want to insert five rows at the same time? So if I want to insert five rows at the same time, it means I'm going to select five rows. The one, two, three, four, five rows. So after selecting five rows, then I'm going to say insert rows, sheet rows. So it will insert five rows up. That's how we insert rows. Then to insert columns, again you select a column you want to insert, then you click insert. So you come to insert columns. Now you recognize that Excel always adds columns on the left of the selected row column. So it means if I want to insert a column, after selling price, it means I have to click in quantity. That's when I'll be able to insert a column after selling price. Again, if I want to add more columns, it means I have to select a number of columns I want to add. Say if I want to add four columns, and I'll click insert columns, so it will add four. I'm going to use the undo button. If you want to delete them, you can select the rows or the columns you want to delete. Then you come to delete. Rows. Now I'm deleting rows. If I want to delete column, select. Then delete column. So I, that's how. So these two buttons I use either. You can insert cells. You can insert rows, you can insert columns, you can also insert a sheet. In the deleting, you can delete cells, you can delete rows, you can delete columns, you can delete tables, you can delete the sheet. That is how we use the deleting. Let's look at number format and a numbering. We have different types of number formats. We have the general numbering, but then still we can have currency, accounting, short date, long date, percentage, fraction, and more. Say, if I want, this is money terms, post price and selling price. I'm going to select these two rows by clicking on the top later of the row. So when you select, then you come to general, and you click currency. 